praises be to Yahweh, Double honors unto the apostles and there was a great, great most honor shall one to sincere a millet out there, you know, teaching this this truth and faith, man, you know. And um, yeah, bro, you know, so, so we just going, we just, we just roll in, man. We going just roll straight through the spirit. Can somebody get um Acts twelve and read it from the top? You know. Yeah. This is Acts chapter twelve from the top. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James the brother of John with the sword. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, so so that that right there, man, is is um is um talking about actual time period where the uh, the apostles were were being persecuted, man. You know, and it's like that same spirit is coming back right now, man. You know, as the apostles always say, we are in that time period of Acts. During during the um time period of Acts, the um truth, the the uh, truth was 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 obviously getting 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 uh, pushed, you know, you know, more was being added onto the church, you know, but also during that time, the apostles were being be, be, being persecuted, man, you know, and then as the scripture says, there's no new thing under the sun, That's right. you know, that that period was their 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 um period of temptation, you know, and precept. and. Our period of temptation is approaching. Come on. And this is Luke chapter 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and when they shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. And mm. who's that talking about? That's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. You mm. know? Because, uh, you know, when you go into the book of Second Ezra, the second chapter, and the 47th verse on down, it speaks about the men that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, mm. all right, for the Son of Man. And hey, and hey, what, who was the one that's, uh, of high stature, taller than all the rest, putting crowns on the men that stood stiffly, all right? That was Jehovah Shai, man, all right? So we're living in a time period now where, look, man, Esau's about to roll on us. You know, you're going to have fucking coons of our own nation coming up against us. Mm. Ain't nothing new under the sun. The same, the time of Acts, the same shit that was happening back then. It's gonna happen again, man. So you gotta like what like in Sarak too, it says what? Set thy mind aright. That's right. You know? You gotta prepare yourself like mentally for the times that we're actually into, man. You know? And the Lord says what? It's, it's a blessing. You know, when men come up against you for the Son of Man's sake. Mm. That's really a blessing. You know, so you gotta expect these things and bear your cross. Mm. That's a that's an honorable death as well, man. Okay. You know, to die for the, the name of Yahweh Basham Shai and the doctrine, you know, what you believe in. Instead of dying like these niggas gang banging shooting dying over holes and shit like that we're mm. dying for over the truth man you know that's a that's a beautiful way to go out man god yeah. precept and it's the psalms 116 and verse 15 precious in the sight of the lord is the death of his saints mm. so you know that's precious unto how about shimmy al share when you know he sees that you know his men that he set up actually die for this truth man mm -hmm. you know die for the sake of this truth die for Yahweh Shai man believing get, get in having faith in Yahweh Shai, 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 Shai man right that, that that's a that's a good thing in the sight of Yahweh Shai, Shai, Shai. Mm -hmm. and it pleased the Lord also to um you know make Yahweh Shai go through that man you know it pleased him it, what does it say it pleased him no he bruised him it, it pleased to bruise him yeah. man you know mm -hmm. so it was a righteous thing for Yahweh Shai to go through what he went through man you know, these are the things we got to remember, man. It's, look, before we can obtain the kingdom, there's certain things that we're going to have to go through, man. That's right. You know, just like Yahweh Shai, before he was glorified, there were certain things that he, Yahweh Shai had to do, our Lord, man. You know, and it's, it's the same with us, but on a lower scale. That's right. And that the scripture says, much is given, much is required. Come. You know, this is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah, that's right, man. And um, that 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 um, obviously applies to like, to, you know, to to obviously abstain from 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 things of this world and and, and push the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. So that you you might come with truth and you might give up your family, you might give up your kids, you might, you know, basically catch hell for this truth, you know. Your um, chick might leave you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and more, you know. 
So that's so that's so that's what entails being a, a sacrifice unto the Lord, mm. right? The dying, the dying saying you're just gonna get come in the truth and you're gonna just cut your own throat. Yeah, you know. No, nah, it's, 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 it's talking about, you know, enduring hardship for his truth's sake, you know? Kind of, if I can say this as well, man, because like the brother said, hey, you, your chick might leave you, then fuck it, to hell with it, man, because yeah. at the same time, hey, you you got to understand that, you know, the word feminine, what I believe Apostle Gabar brings out a lot, comes from a minus faith, mm. uh, famina, the Latin, you know? So what you got to understand is, in that time of temptation, your woman's probably gonna take the chip anyway. Yeah. Mm. You know, so hey, and even if she don't, you gotta understand that you got look, the scripture says seek your own salvation. That's it. She's gonna be saved underneath you anyway. So if, if if she's gonna make it, it's gonna be off of your back. Now, what I'm saying is, hey, even if your chick le uh, doesn't leave you and she stays with you until the end and whatever, you better hope you're a man of the Lord because if if you ain't, she's gonna end up ha um, having to look for a man of the Lord anyway. That's mm. it. You know, so what's your ass gonna do? You've been simping all this time. Mm. Right, you've been simping or you know bowing down to her, trying to serve her and her needs. When the time of temptation comes, she gonna look for a real man. That's it. So then you 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 wasted you wasted all your life, you know, putting all your energy into her, you know, giving your ways to her that destroyeth kings, man, you know. So you shouldn't be doing that. And it says, That's right. holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. That's right, man. So so really, us doing us pushing the word. We're doing what, what we're supposed to do, you know. You no, know, that's 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 really the very, uh, 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 you know, least, so to speak, you know, all we can do, you know, because as a people we we just try to transgress, right? And that's why those who have the hope to hope for elect are, are, you know, are coming back and pushing the word, man, you know, right? Uh, back in Acts, yeah. Yeah, back to Acts, back to Acts. And uh, this is Acts twelve and verse three. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, mm -hmm. he proceeded further to take Peter also. That that, that shows there. That's that shows the, the, the what's that scripture? Matthew twenty three. Oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that, the prophets. that that killeth the prophets and slays them that are sent unto thee, man. Right. And see, see that's see, that's why you know like um you get um back the scripture for for they are not all Israel. Romans, Romans nine. I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, can you read that? Romans chapter nine and six. Not as the word of Yahweh have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Keep going. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That's right, man. So they are not all Israel that are of of Israel, man. Meaning like. Just because a guy um, is is f f physically an Israelite, that 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 doesn't mean that guy is an Israelite of faith, man. Right? Because th those who don't take heed unto this truth are are, are essentially counted as heathen. Mm. Those who do, do take heed to the truth are are the Israel of God, you know, which is really. The, the 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 true true sons of God are those who have faith, man. Mm. In the, the kingdom of heaven, all Israel are gonna have faith. But on this this side round, it's only about those who have the elect, man. That's right. Even in, in Matthew's twelve forty eight, or even Mark three thirty three, who is my brother? Who's my my sister? Who's my mother? But those that do the will of the Lord, man. Mm. And part of doing the will of the Lord is to teach out this gospel. And to have faith in Yahweh by Shemeshach, which not all Israel has. You know what I'm saying? So that's where you get the two thirds that they're going to be burnt up, man, and destroyed in this side, man. That's why it's a, it's a the Lord always spoke about what? The take heed for the kingdoms at hand. Mm -hmm. That's why we're out here repenting, man. Yeah, that's why um, Yahweh said um, to the scribes of Pharisees, You are of the, your father the, the devil, devil yeah. and the lust of your father you shall do, man. You know, they were Jake. Mm. You know that that Yahweh was saying that to you, man. So that also proves the point that the brother's bringing out that there's a large portion of our people. If you don't have faith in Yahweh, if you're not down with this gospel, then you will be cast out as a heathen, man. Yep. You know. And it says, "Then were the days of unleavened bread." So it was during the time period of the Passover. That's right. You know. And, and when you switch uh, around the time of the Passover, those things happen, man. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I believe the um, 
Lord, Lord got slain around the time of the Passover when he was crucified. Yeah. You know, because he had his last supper, so called, but which was really the the, the, the Passover, and I believe at, at, at that night was when he got arrested. Mm -hmm. You know, so so there's always things happening around the time of the Passover, man. You know, yes, but but that's but that but that was what was happening back then during during the time of the Passover back then, the, the apostles were getting persecuted, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And when he had apprehended him, so so he was arrested. Mm -hmm. He was arrested. You know, and and, 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 and so that's and that's the same thing. Like what being being put in prison, yeah. Which is the same thing as what um, concentration camps, man. Because the scripture says, whatsoever thing is written for a full time is written for our, our, our learn. You know what I mean? So it's like we have to spiritually apply stories back then onto now, and how yeah. we can can apply them now. He he got put in prison, arrested. Is the same thing with us. Brothers in this truth have been arrested, mm. but 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 that arrested was arresting to try and put them to death, man. Mm. So that's that ain't too far off from a concentration camp. Has someone got their revelation to intend? Spirit revelation yeah. chapter two verse ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, for behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Mm, that's right, and and Herod himself was under the authority of Rome, he, even though he am. Um, sat on the phone as king of Israel, really this guy was a, wasn't of Israel, he's a heathen. He, Edomite, man. You know? But the, the, the devil in the scripture is who, man? It, elites of Esau, man. Yep. His power structure, his authority. Alright? He's gonna physically cast us into prison. You know? Go ahead. And ye shall be tried you shall have tribulation ten days. No, that that ten means completion, man. You know, he ain't talking about. Oh yeah, you know, I, I have five days left. No, in that time of trouble, it, it, it could be it, 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 it could be a day, it could be three days, huh. it could be two weeks, it could be two months. You know, a per, basically it just means a, a complete period of time yeah. in which the, the Lord seems fit to to, to 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 test you, man. That's right. You know, go ahead. And it says, Be thou faithful unto death, Ooh, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's right. You know? And that crown of life, like what I, you know, what I mentioned earlier, or what the scriptures mention in Second Ezra, you know, the second chapter. You know, the crown of life, man. That's what we that's what we're doing this for, man. You know, brothers are actually gonna get crowned, you know, if they endure until the end. Alright? That's why the Lord says, "What well, hold that fast which thou hast. Let no man take thy crown, man. You know? Especially a nigga woman, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, you, should, you shouldn't be letting no one take your crown, man. You really, but you, you know, you in this, you in this, you know, to, 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 to survive, man. You know? Because if you don't do this, you're through. You know? You're going to be getting beaten with many stripes. You unfaithful servant. And there's guys that are falling out right and center, man. But you know what, man? That's the fear of the Lord, man. Now they're getting mocked, you know? We supposed to stay on that straight path, man. And you got to pray to your how about you shy. King David prayed for the Holy Spirit not to be taken from him, man. Okay. You know? Prayer, man. And that's a good prayer. That's a way to what? To hold that fast which you have. That no man takes your crown, yeah, you know? And the scriptures speak about giving diligence to make to, to give your calling, uh, uh, to make that calling and election sure. Because, you know, we say we're of the hopeful elect, man, you know? And some of us are gonna have to go into them. They got concentration camps. What Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. What's yeah, he yeah. doing? What's he doing to Issachar, man? You know, throwing him into pretty much dog kennels, man. Current. Looks like the fences that you play basketball in. They're just sleeping in them dog kennels. Fucking all they got is a, a blanket of foil paper wrapped around them, man. Separated hundreds of miles from their families, man. Mm -hmm. You know, what's a, you gotta be a you gotta be the devil. Like the brother said, you gotta be a devil. You know, the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of to separate a mother from her child hundreds of miles away, man. You know? And it's spiritual. This, 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 this brother, you know, obviously it is, isn't set in stone, but it's spiritual how you just mentioned Trump and then the actual main king that's oppressing Jake in the chapter is who? Herod. It, it's Herod, man. <laughs> that's spirit. Yeah, it's back. It's back. Back. All right, cool, bro. Back in um, Acts chapter 12, verse 4. And when he had ap apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four um, court courtenions 
of soldiers to keep him, mm. intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. And, 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 and that proves <laughs> that that the Easter in the um, scriptures, right, isn't talking about no no time period where you where you, you get a fucking Easter bunny, and and you put some, some, some put some some chocolate eggs in the ground, right? That's 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 talking about the Passover, mm. because if you read up a couple of verses, it says um after the feast of after the days of one. Unleavened bread, which which the Passover is the first day of the unleavened bread, you know, week. You know, keep going. Yeah. Verse five. Peter therefore was kept in prison. So he was bound. Now, you know, he was bound in a, in a cell. But prayer was made without season of a church unto God for him. And and we we, we truly might come into times as that man, you know. You know, you you, you, you you personally might like, you know, brothers have, have been through experiences, man, where one brother gets arrested and the whole camp is praying. You know? Mm -hmm. like, he, 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 you know? Yeah, and, and prayer is needed, man. We're requesting for the Lord, begging for the Lord, pray and fasting, actually, the scripture talks about, man. And supplication. Yeah, that's it, man. Mm -hmm. Which means to beg. That's it. You know, to actually to, to pray, I believe, means to beg, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so it. Go ahead. Up. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. Mm. The righteous runneth into it. Right. You know, so in that time, man, you know, like the brother's saying, that like there's been instances where the whole camp is literally calling upon the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. You know, praying to the Lord, you know, to deliver certain brothers, man. Yeah. Get brothers getting ailments and stuff. Mm -hmm. Brothers getting prayed for, anointed. Every time we pray on the name of the Lord, man, the Lord, the Lord deals with it, man. He sorts us out, man. You mm -hmm. know, look at look at the generation of old. That's why the scriptures say the things that were written before time were written for our learning, man. You know, calling upon the name, that's a part of wisdom. You know? Having a name to call upon, that's that strong tower, man. And that's what's gonna deliver us in these times, man. You know, and give us that comfort. You know? And the Lord will hear that. That's true. You know? The Lord will hear that. Just like he heard Cornelius, man. Mm. You know? Cornelius was an Israelite. Yes, he's a Jake. Mm. You know? And he said, let's say, and he said, you know, the, the, the prayer, um, you know, the prayers of, of Cornelius came up to the, uh, to the to the altar of the Most High, man. Them arms. You know? The Lord heard his prayers. You know? So you got to have faith that the Lord is going to hear yours. No? Oh, yeah. That's why the scriptures stressed um, the importance of praying, man. Because it takes great faith to pray and actually believe that the Lord is going to answer your prayers, man. You know, if it's of His will. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. that's why it's so important to actually throw prayers up. Because it really shows the power of Yahweh Shemi Hashem. You know, when you allow the Lord to actually answer a prayer or you allow the Lord to, you know, get a brother out of a tough situation, like you're displaying the Lord's power, man, when it actually comes to pass. That's what you're doing. You're just glorifying the Lord by praying to it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And prayer has an element of faith in it. It's, it's it not is. an element. Yeah. It is faith. Yeah, yeah, it is faith. It's like, yeah, it is faith. Because it, the scripture even says what? Pray without season, right? Correct. So if you're praying without season, you have faith in, in what you're requesting of the Lord. We're begging for the Lord to do for you, man. Yep. Yeah, because if you don't pray, that shows that you don't have any faith. Yeah, you yeah. don't believe that the Lord is going to answer your prayer, man. It That's takes it. faith to pray. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah, that's right. Cause like, if you don't, if you don't believe, then mm. you know, if you don't have the faith, which is the ingredient that you need, yeah. you know, to even get on your knees and just pray to to call upon the name. Yeah, to, to actually mm. see, 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 see something afar off. And that's it. You know, to actually see that, yeah, you know, if I pray, the Lord's gonna hear me. Like, even yeah. know that there's someone's hearing you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, half these people just sleep, <laughs> wake up, sleep. Okay. Yeah, and that's why it's important to build up the relationship with Yahweh while Yahweh shine now. Mm. You know, because when these little trials and tribulations that you go through in your day to day life, when you get these mini miniature tests and you're delivered from them, that builds that faith. It builds mm. that relationship to let you know that the Lord hears your prayers. Okay. Shit, oh man, I nearly got fired, but the Lord delivered me. Yep. Or oh, I lost my job and I got a new job straight away. The Lord delivered me. He heard my prayer. Yep. These little things. You know, the Lord will sort you out, man. Mm -hmm. And if I can just get a quick point, real quick, bro. Yeah, okay. Acts 10 and 4. And and when he looked upon him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? 
And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine arms are come up for a memorial before Yahweh. And that's just a quick precept proving, you know, that that's the time of Cornelius, man. You know, his prayers and his arms came up before a Lord for a memorial. The Lord hears that. So, brothers, you, that's why you got to read and stay in the scriptures, man. These things are supposed to build up that relationship. Because really, look, man, you got to build that personal relationship up with Yahweh, with Yahweh Shai, man. This is between you and the Lord. Mm. All right, it's between you and the Lord. You gotta make sure that you you you, you get founded in that now. You know, because we're gonna need every ounce of faith. I can't remember who said it, but it was a brother that said, and it really stuck with me. We're gonna need every ounce of faith in the times of Jacob's trouble coming up, man. You know, to get through what we're gonna have to get through, and that includes calling upon the name of the Lord. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, guess that's why um we, we read um uh, Isaiah fifty five and six. Mm -hmm. Let's sure. um, let's let's read the scripture. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found mm -hmm. and call ye upon him while he is near So that's straight to the point man Who seek the Lord while he may be found and how is he found now? You know he's, 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 he's for us, us, us teaching he's, he's found because, because the prophets are out there hmm. Went once uh, and also get problems one, you know, when I call, you know, because call, 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 well, because he's found because the prophets are physically out there now. The, the, the time he ain't going to be found is when his prophets ain't out there because that's his, <laughs> his prophets being his, his mouth is like him showing his face, you know, well, like his lips, he's, he's, he's calling on to, to the people. So, so right now is him being found, right? That's right. But the time gonna come when he ain't gonna be look, man. If 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 the, the only time look, man, it's best to pray and fast now. Yeah. Before you gotta pray and fast later, because back because during the time when there's a, a, a trials and tribulation, some people are gonna be forced to the fast, man. Correct. Yep. You know, and mm -hmm. be praying. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. All that. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in that time, man. Yeah. Well, in their affliction. Yeah, so seek me early. Mm -hmm. Which if you go into that word early is diligently, man. Huh? That's when they're gonna be on fire, man. Mm -hmm. Because eventually they're gonna be on fire. Huh? You know? <laughs> Literally. Read that up, then go back to Acts. Proverbs one before. Oh, yeah. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand. And no man regarded. Well, was that applied unto those who were of the elect, man? Because he stretches out his hand to the elect. The elect are like, come, mm -hmm. you know, let me grab you, Lord. Uh -huh. But the other scoffers are like, look, man, I'll do that later, bro. I know them and they follow me. Yeah. You know, that's the elect, man. That's your sheep. Come on. Go ahead. Oh. This, I've got a quick one. This is Malachi. I, I think there's more in that proverb, you know. Mm. Oh? Yeah, there's more in that. And it says, back in Proverbs 20, 1 and 25, But ye have set at naught at all my counsel, yes. and would... That's the precept to seek, seek him where, where he may be found. Because they're going to explain, this part is going to explain that they ain't got, they're going to be a time where, where he ain't going to. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But, and you were none of my reproof. Yeah. I, I also will laugh at your calamity. Uh -huh. I will mock with your when your fear cometh. Mm. When your fear cometh as a desolation, mm -hmm. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. It's good to say when your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, man. You know what that means? Did you, you, you only see like a tornado? You know how it just consumes something like mm. it's just you can't see how how that destruction. When your when your destruction comes like. It was five what and, and eighteen on down. Mm. That's basically tribulation coming as a whirlwind. Like, mm. oh shit, oh. Yeah. You, you don't know. You don't even. You're, you're all confused. You know, you, you can't turn to the left. Can't turn to the right. You just bug it out, man. Yeah, paranoid. Paro. Yeah. Every side is through. Every decision <laughs> you make is the wrong one. Every yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Final destination. <laughs> Every step you take, you're getting injured. A step right. closer to death. You can't. You can't. You know, I'm sorry, bro. Can you finish that? And it says, When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Wow. 
You know, you know what it is to be to ha to have distress and, and and anguish, bro. That's like knowing you're afflicted to the point of trembling, bro. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> through teeth rattling, knees shaking, yeah, shitting yourself. Yeah, you can't control your bowels at all. Can't. You know, you get that sinking feeling. Yeah, like but at that, just every second. Can't. Yeah, they shall be weeping and gnashing teeth. teeth you know. Just bare fatigue everywhere. Yeah. You dehydrated. You don't know what's going on, man. Hallucinating. Hallucinating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yeah. And it says, verse 28, Then shall they call upon me. There, oh, so then. Then, at that very moment. <laughs> that's that's when they're going to get the understanding, man. Yeah. That's when they're going to finally understand the breakdown. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh they, Jacob's trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they gon' they gonna know. Yeah, first hand. A time that hasn't ever been seen. I definitely know. Keep going. It says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Oh. They shall seek me early. Seek, seek with diligence. Go ahead. But they shall not find me. Yep. For they that hated knowledge. Mm -hmm. For that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And really, they, they can't choose anyway. They, 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 they actually just wasn't called. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why they just they just they, they rejected it. You know. Go ahead. They were none of my counsel. None at all. Go ahead. They despised all of my reproof. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way mm. and be filled with their own devices. Filled with their own devices. You know, all, 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 all that scoffing you did, it's why you're going to die. You know? Go ahead. And it says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, mm. and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Mm -hmm. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. That's right. That's right. And that's our hope. Can I buy you had a precept and you had a precept? Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, this is Jeremiah 11 and 14. Mm. Therefore, pray not for this people, mm -hmm. neither lift up a cry of prayer for them. I will not hear them mm. in the time that they cry wow. unto me for their trouble. Wow. Mm. <laughs> so there's going to come a time that we just read in Proverbs, the first chapter, then shall they call upon me. But mm. the Lord will not hear them because you what? You turned away his reproof. Mm. So don't don't pray for them. Yeah, that's 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 this is uh, that ain't even no just a you know prophet like that's that's the, that's the Lord man. The Lord. He said don't don't pray for them like you know you know um, you know you know you know that the the the, 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 the Grand Four Tower you know yeah, yeah. everyone Christ Lord <laughs> all this yeah the Lord the Lord, the Lord don't care yeah. he didn't care let's face it the Lord actually didn't care because if he cared he would have you. Uh, uh, praying to Allah and, and blowing smoke through your nostrils, man. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. soil that the toxic cladding, you know, mm -hmm. and just to suffocate into death, man. Yeah. And then you know you read, you know, uh, us brothers, some of us brothers said, plus met a fireman who was in there, man. He said, look, there's way, there's way more than a hundred dead over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. He said it was, he basically said it was hundreds. Yeah. You know, keep going. Yeah, it's okay. done. Go on. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This one really echoes the same sentiment, man. Yeah, Isaiah yeah, man. 66, verse 4. I also, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, she whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you got to bring that back. You that? Isaiah 66 and verse 4. I will, I also will choose their delusions. Can't oh, choose. And will bring their fears upon them. Bring their fears upon them. Like the, the, your deepest, darkest fear. If you know the let, the Lord can bring it on you, man. Can. You know. You know. You, 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 you might have a a, a scuffle. You scared of heights, man. Mm. You know. The, 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 then he gets just, just gets taken to a building and told, "Look, man, if you don't if you don't take the chip, we're gonna push you off, man." Yeah. And then he takes the chip and gets pushed off. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's the Lord. The Lord yeah. can do that, man. Yeah, you set me up. <laughs> well, the, well, the Lord said in Proverbs, you will mock, mock in it. Yeah. Yeah. And your fear cometh. God, you sit God. and scoff. You know, you, 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 you might have a phobia of 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 serpents and then you you you, you might be sprinting through the woods to try and hide from Esau yeah. and the spirit make you paralyzed man yeah. and the serpent just eat you alive man yeah, you throw in a ditch full of serpents man yeah or, or scratch that he's just me a Godzilla man can't shit that 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 king lizard man <laughs> <laughs> and it's not no joke the, yeah. the, the, this is in the scriptures man yeah, but it, it proves that in that day there's going to be a lot of unexplainable things, oh, yeah. man, apparitions, like it's going to go into in the scripture, just going on. Plague them as as, as Egypt, Egypt, uh, Egypt yeah. before. Can't, can't. And when you read the plagues in Egypt, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I I ain't blinked and seen bare frogs everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. Or I ain't blinked and or kept my eyes shut and I could hear like like a lion next to me. Can't. But you feel it. You you feel around you. There's no line or a darkness that you can feel. Feel. What's that? That's a, What's that's that, deep. man? What is that? A darkness you can feel. Yeah. Or, or, or you're just there and you, and you hear like a sound of a, a rushing waters in, in your house. <laughs> Here is a is a is a six story flat and you, and you hear <laughs> a maid see in your room, man. Uh, or you hear like like some wild dogs. Or a serpent, you just hear, and you feel darkness. The Lord could do that. Yeah. And, yeah. and the craziest thing about the, the story of Egypt is that, you know, the um, the um, portion of Egypt that Israel had was fine. The the camp of the Egyptians was getting fucked up. Right. We were still like, you know, in a house, could see, you know, mm. but across the road. The, the, that means Jesus was getting plagued, man. Firstborns dropping dead. Firstborns dropping dead. Mm. But but that's the point that the um the, the, the Lord can is gonna make stuff you can't explain happen in this time, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you got a precept? So, so someone had it. But let's segue back to Acts after that. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter uh, chapter ten. I'm gonna start from thirty. For we know him that have said, "Vengeance belongeth unto me." I will recompense, saith the Lord Yahweh, and again, the Lord shall judge his people. Mm. It is a thing to fall into the hand. Mm. Point deepest, darkest fears, your delusions. Mm. You know, and if you know that, and the, the scripture also says that the, the, the um, terror, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, do we persuade men? If you know these things are going to get delivered up to you, man. If you, you know. If you if you didn't choose to hearken unto this truth, eh? you know, but that's why we give diligence because we we know them. We've been persuaded, you know, and Lord willing, we continue in this stead. Because the thing is, man, I don't want to be delivered to my darkest fears. Nah, mm. bro, I don't. Man. And I don't I'm think I don't think even you scoffers. I don't think you. Yeah, do. even even you guys I'm don't, man. Trying to shit, you know, <laughs> and I, that's why that's what I'm saying. You you your head ain't right because. If you're reading the scriptures and the scriptures is straight telling you that you're going to get delivered to your darkest fears, God. but then you still choose to go off. Then you're a demon. Then you're mm. just a demon, man. Yeah. And, you know, then you, you, that's why the scripture says whoever perished being innocent, because mm. you, you just willfully, you, you know, ignorance is bliss, they say, you oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lucky I was about to say, look, people don't even know what their darkest fears are, man. The Lord, <laughs> you might think you're, yeah, you're scared of this, but no, nah, the Lord might show you something else yeah, that you didn't yeah. even know you were scared of, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, you might be, you might be scared of a, you might be scared of a, a uh, of spiders, but uh, but the Lord, <laughs> the Lord bring a, a demon with a hunchback. Yeah. <laughs> with, with, yeah. Spider's <laughs> with, with spiders' legs. With spiders' legs. And then half, half spiders just, and his head twisting. That's it. Fucking <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. the scripture says the um, the Lord could have destroyed them old Canaanites with, with, with fucking animals shoot sparkles out their eyes, man. But, yeah. he, but, but he chose to, to not do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he, I mean, I don't know about you, you see no animal with no sparkles shooting out their eyes, man. <laughs> man, don't want to well, see that. Well, I don't want to see that. <laughs> what, what, what kind of technology is that, bro? Yeah, bro, bro. Shoot, shooting at you, bro. It's an animal. Bro. It gives birth, man. She was walking out your eyes. The Lord, the Lord, the, the Lord can do stuff, man. It's a fearful thing, man. Oh, man. It's a fearful thing. Yo, that's, that's too much for me, bro. 
Yeah, mind you, just for the crew cup. But. Yeah, man. <laughs> but in righteousness, no. you know what I mean. Keep going. Just, just go ahead to Acts, man. Yeah, back Shit, in Acts 12, um, verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Mm, so, 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 so he's changed up between two two soldiers, man. Mm. And look, man, th that's the trouble of some time, man. Imagine you're in front of two soldiers, just chained up to this arm. He, he just changed up to the next arm. And and, and these guys uh, were so there watching you. Nowhere, nigga. Looks impossible, yeah. bro. Uh, uh, Go ahead. And it says, bound with two chains, <laughs> and the keepers before the door kept the prison. So, so he was bound. Then there was like sixteen different like men, you know, because it said four four quatorians, right? Mm. Which is which is four. four. But it's, it's about men just chilling outside the prison on rotation. Walking up and down, yo. Know, and he's bound in front of the How much more security do you need? And that shows you still in that same spirit. Where Jake gets a they call the cops on Jake. How many fucking police cars you need for one nigga, man? Yeah. You know? They call up fucking two bully vans, yeah. three police cars, all uh, the flashing lights, they yeah, broke yeah. off the roads. Uh, just ped, for one uh, one Jake. A, a, a police officer on the, on, on the ped. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? You know? They're trying to get still. <laughs> Look at this trip. And if yeah, they yeah. and if they want, they can just send a drone in your ass. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or, or, and, and then and on top of that, bring a dog. They go um, yeah. They love to do that shit. It's really here to save you, man. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. So, why is this was going on, man? Which, which, this is why I, this is, so these stories should be read. Yeah. You know, because. It's like, okay, if, if I read that and that happened back then, that means when I'm going through what I'm going through, it can happen to me if I believe and I'm of, I was chosen. You, you go ahead up. The angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison. Peter, arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands. Oh, man. Like I think, I think in in, in the Matrix there was something just like that, man. Do you remember when like I think he was trying to go into a building or something and it just unlocked or something like I don't remember, man. Just something happened, you know. But 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 that's like you know what could happen, man. Mm. You, 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 you might be in a cell in a time of trouble, man, and the cell just open, man, and then all your chains just fall off you. And basically every door to walk out of the prison is open. And you have you have guards who are just fast asleep for some reason. And, and that time, it's like the spirit, if, 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 if we're only let, man, the, the Heavenly Father through His Son is going to literally just, just, just guide us. Sorry. Every step, every step, bro. You know, you, 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 you might be, be there, yeah, with a brother in a camp. You get a strange urge to just, just get out of your town, yo, bro, bro. Let's get out of here, man. Now, how come, bro? Yo, no, bro, I don't know what it is. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's, we, 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 we have to leave here. Yeah, purely then, spiritual. As soon as you leave here, you, you, you hear, you see on the news that there's, there's martial law in, in your town, man. Mm. There's troops in your town, bro, who, who, who actually had a list of houses they were going to. With tanks. With tanks. Oh, 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 you know them big, big jeep, cheap jeep looking yeah, yeah. things? Uh, Army trucks, yeah. MRAPs is what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 MRAPs, you know them big, like, tank, what, car car versions of tanks, mm. you know? And, 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 free <laughs> spirit, man. So that's why when brothers are talking to you, older or younger, if brothers be saying something to you, whether it's once or, or, or constantly, you have to take heed to it, to, 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 to it, man, right? Because that that man potentially is of the elect, God. and if he's of the elect, the spirit of the Lord is speaking for him, man. God. You can't just be. You might be chilling with Bible, you might might banter. Yeah, yeah. Look, just because you might bust joke, you might banter, 
that don't mean that guy isn't of the elect, man. You know, if he says something through the spirit, pay, take heed to it and, 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 and mark it down, man. You know, I've personally been through experiences where brothers may say something and then it's happened. But at first you might think, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, but then it happens, man. It's so much more in the time of trouble. Mm -hmm. You know? I feel like, well, this brother ain't got no, 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 for you or me, ain't got no rank over me. You, you might get your ass uh, smoked in the time of trouble, bro. Come on. Keep going, huh? And it says, and the angel said unto him, gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him and wished not, but it was true, which was done by the angel. Yeah. Or thought he saw a vision. Yeah, cause cause he was he, he was he was bound between the minutes, so he thought he thought he was still dreaming, man. Mm. You know, or he's still in a vision. But but the, the, the angel of the Lord was was guiding him through. And bro, 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 bro all of this stuff that he's saying could happen to us. Yeah. You, you might be in a cell. You might be praying to the Lord, and the Lord might have you might have be dreaming in your head that yeah, Lord, you to be delivered. Before you, you, when you blink, you, you, you're not even in the cell. Okay. Somewhere. You know? And it's possible, man, to just get taken from somewhere and dropped off, man. Philip, after he spoke to, 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 to um, the um, Jake from Ethiopia, was, was set in a, a different land. He just got transferred, man. Mm. You know? Oh, if I can say this, another example of that being instantly translocated, which is where you even see that in Dragon Ball Z. You, just, you get teleported from somewhere to somewhere else. Mm. Then you get the story of Daniel and the lions there. Yeah. You know, which I believe who was grabbed, who, uh, it was Habakkuk. Habakkuk. You know, it was grabbed by his braids. <laughs> yeah, vehemently as well. well yeah. Which means violently by an egg, yo, feed him. You know? Yeah, but but he was like, but, but I, 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 I never been Babylon. I don't know where. Look, man. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he saw him. <laughs> you know, he was trembling when he when he got taken by the angel, man. Yeah. He was like, hey, 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 go, Daniel, man. Hey, shalom, man. No. Mm. Went back. Yeah, one minute you there cooking and that. No, he actually pot. said it. He was sieving the pot. Sieving the pot. No, one minute you there just sieving the pot. Next minute, by your locks, <laughs> Jake grabs you. Know, you, you know, some the Blanc's angel with a terrible countenance. Yeah, yeah. Just grabs you in your tap food to Daniel. Bang, <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, yo, shut up, what? bang. And the scripture says he cried out loud unto him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he cried out loud unto him. Because at first he was like, hey, angel, man, you know, I, 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 I never been no Babylon. I don't know where I, I'm going to take you, man, you know. Grabbed him, put him in a cell. Hey, yo, yeah, Daniel, man. Daniel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Dan. Yo, you know? Dan. Dan, man. <laughs> you know. G gave him the food and said, shalom. Yep. And went back to, to, to <laughs> in Jerusalem, man. Mm. And and that's possible. That's possible, mm. man. That's mm. for with the Lord, there's nothing impossible, man. Yeah. And when the scripture said you, you shall be cast into prison and have tribulation 10 days, mm. which we, you know, a complete amount of time for your lot. Mm. And you don't know how long mm. Esau might starve you out. Starve you and out. You might, you might need a brother to get teleported by an angel to drop you some food. Well, Will and that's gonna like happen. Like a packet of crisps or something, or yeah, 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 yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah, chocolate, what it is, man. Ever. A full course oh. meal. But like the people around you can't see that. Uh, it was back possible, bro, with the Lord, and and that's the faith we actually need to have in this time. That look, man, the Lord can do anything. No, we need to have that. You know, you know what? The Lord can do. Whatever he wants to do, and it's time, bro. Mm. Scripture says in Second Andrew sixteen, "Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Lord is your God." I know. Well, man, think about it. So, what's the point of going out there? Yeah, pushing the word. Then the time comes, you just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know, man. You got doubt spirit. Doubt. Mm. Which everybody encounters doubt, but 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 it's what you do when that you encounter with that doubt. You pray and fast against that doubt, man. Mm -hmm. Like even with the with, with the apostles, when when they tried to heal that man, 
and this it was someone's son or something. Just load them. So why, so why couldn't we, we cast them out? Because then 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 then, then the uh, Lord spoke to them about doubt and told them this this can't c come out of you except you pray and fast, man. Mm. You know, prayer and fasting. Go ahead up. And it says, when they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And that actually happened. You know when you see films like, was it, was it Bruce Almighty or, or one of the, the Almighty whatever film, when he's walking down the road, like the, when he's in a car and the green lights is all green, you know, and, he, and, he's, and, and he's walking into a shop, the door opens by itself. Mm. He walk into his house, his house opens. That's basically what happened. And you know them, them gates to the city back then, it wasn't no, mm. no, no, uh, no um, gate you buy from B&Q. That was them 10 foot, 15 foot gates, man. Towards the gate, and it just opened by itself for him. Mm. <laughs> there ain't no like sensor. You just open, the spirit opened the gate, man. And they went out and passed on through one street. And forthwith, the angel departed from him. And the angel just, just left him, man. Time was done to do what he needed to do. To do what he needed to do, man. Because <laughs> the angel could have just, just teleported him out of the cell, you know. But, but when the Lord had that happen, intricately how it happened, for us to read for it today, mm -hmm. to grow, mm -hmm. to believe that. That raw, he, he actually was chained. Like the, the, the scriptures didn't have to go into that deal. The scriptures could have said, "Yeah, we, the angel mm. came, took him out." Mm. But the Lord said he was chained between the two. That there was about there was about sixteen soldiers, you know, outside the gate. But his, his shackles loosed. He walked through with the angel. The door opened by itself, and he was safe. Mm. But through why though? Because prayer was made for him from the church, and he was praying himself. Right? And that's the faith that we, we, we have to have. That is truly what you call a, a close shave, man. Cause 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 James just got killed. So 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 that was just trying to make a move, man. Uh, that's the time that's coming. Mm -hmm. One brother might get, get killed in your camp, then boom. They're all coming against against the whole camp, man. Yeah. Hey, well the scripture says that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Yes. Mm -hmm. But like the brother was saying, that, that was literally a close shave. Just right there, you know, that happened with Peter, man. You know, and look what happened to him. He actually presented himself before him and just <laughs> laid the carpet out for him, man. And he just walked, you know. And that can happen to you, brothers, man. You know, so these things are supposed to strengthen and exhort you in this faith and in this truth. Come, man. And I'm speaking... Because, you know, first and foremost, because I, I got I got to take it in myself, you know. I, look, man, I can't save myself, man. And no brother can no brother can save you. you got to seek your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. And how to do that, man, is just to stay in the word and pray fast, man. You know, and just hope that you're of the elect, you know. For a scripture, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Mm. Hey, if I can say this, and what happened to um, um, Paul in, in, in Lystra, I believe that was when they got, when he got, basically he died. Yeah. Paul, Paul was killed, man. You know, and then he came back to life. You know, the Lord just basically put his spirit back. Yo, just woke, just woke up, man. Crap. That was when they were calling them uh, uh, Jupiter and Mercury. Oh, uh, that's it. You know, Ephesus, isn't it? Dying of the Ephesians. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. You know. But 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 a point. Oh, yep. uh, verse 12 yea and all that will all that will live godly in Yahushua Mashiach shall suffer persecution mm. 
you know. So if you're living according to this word, you're doing, you, you sincerely got faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, you're gonna suffer persecution, man. Like the scripture says, it just comes with the territory, man. You know, this truth is about, it's about being persecuted to be glorified in the end. You know, we gotta go, we gotta go through this, man. You know, this ain't no easy road, man. Sure. You got priest of this is Acts 14, 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. You know, to continue, man. To go on, non-stop. And in the faith, man. And that we must through much tribulation, like the brother was saying, man, look, we're gonna have tribulation. Tribulation is trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jacob's trouble. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go for that. No, brothers might die for the for the sake of the uh, the name of the Lord, for this truth. Some um, some may survive. You know, either way, it's it's, it's for the the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, it's His plan. But look, when you're in this truth, don't expect that it's gonna be. You know, an easy job, an mm -hmm. easy pay. Yeah, nine to five. Yeah, easy nine to five. You go in, and you clock in, clock out, and you know, that's it. No, you're going to have to go through pain. You're going to have to go through suffering. You're going to have your loved ones come against you. You're going to lose your loved ones, you know? And through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. And, you know, and they even say in the world, you know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. So mm -hmm. that tribulation, it's actually to purify you, man, uh, like like gold, man, to make you stand out, to make you tougher, to make you stronger, to make you wiser, you know, and it, it increases your faith. Because when you witness stuff, witness stuff, when you experience stuff, it adds wisdom to you and it, it gives you more faith, man. But obviously you go, go um, continue and pray and fasting as well, man. Mm. Does anyone have anything else? Yeah, this is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, mm. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures mm. might have hope. You know? So everything that's, you know, that, that's why the brother says it's good to read these stories, man. You know, because it, it builds your hope, you know, and it, and it comforts you, man. You mm. know? The Lord sent us a comforter, man. This is, you know, this, this you got to stay in this word, you know. And these things that have been written before time, like you got the stories that, a couple of stories that we just read to you or even mentioned. But then you got the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, being cast into a fiery furnace, man. Mm -hmm. And not a hair on their head was singed, man. No, 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 no the smell of smoke. No, the smell of smoke. So if that can, hey, the Lord, hey, with, with, with Yahweh, all things are possible, man. It tells you that. In, in Matthew, man, you know, it tells you with all of you how all things are possible, man, you know, and that was said by the Lord Yahweh Shai himself, you know, so you have to believe that, man, if we, and have, uh, you know, comfort and hope in the scriptures, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right, that's why right. scriptures calls us uh, prisoners of hope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just, we just, we just always in a state of hoping for something, you know what I mean, which is faith. We we are captives of faith. You know, I'm mean to faith. And if the brothers don't have anything else, we're gonna close up. Right, you got one? You have you got anything? You got anything? Yeah. Cool. Read that. Right. This is um Sirach 34 and verse 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love Him. Mm. He is their mighty protection and strong state. A defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. Mm. So you gotta love Yahweh Shem Yahshua and how you do that, man, by preaching this word, man. Uh, Yahweh said, um, if you love me, keep my commands. Keep my commands. You know, feed my sheep. You know, all of that stuff, all of that good stuff, man. So that's how you love Yahweh Shem Yahshua. You basically gotta keep his commandments, man, and do what he said. You know, until he comes back, man. You know, wait ye upon me until he rises up to the prey, man. We're just filling that slot and making way f for the ushering of your Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man. You know, that's our job, man. That's what we got to the best of our ability of Yahweh Shem Yahshai and to also prove that we're worthy of, you know, having that crown put on our head, man. And, mm. You know? And the scripture says, 
a defense from the heat. The heat being mm -hmm. uh, man, so, uh, 